Hi there. Hey, I want to show you this guitar. This is an Eastman 403. So the 403 is uh, a very attainable guitar, accessible. It's not very expensive. And, uh, but I tell you, it's got some qualities that are really nice. Now this is a laminate guitar. It's at the low end of the scale. Affordability is no problem on this guitar, but it's a joy to play. It's a laminate top, sides and back, laminate maple. This particular one is a 2015. It's in beautiful shape. What's nice and what makes the guitar so pretty is all the rosewood appointments, tailpiece, bridge, pick guard, headstock, fretboard. This one has been modified with fret markers. Normally they come with a blank slate, but this one's been modified, so it's a little different. Now, what's another thing that's nice about this guitar, or the, all of the 403s, is the three-piece neck. Three-piece maple neck. It's very strong. This one has the nice machines on it. And the dimensions of the guitar, look at, look at the back. Let's take a look at that back there a second. Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty finish. I love that finish. Whoops. Whoops, sale tag. Okay, this particular guitar is, uh, I'm going to pass it on to some lucky student. And uh, like I said, it's affordable. It won't break the bank. And it's made by Eastman. And so it's got a nice, it's got a nice reputation behind it. What I've done to the guitar is I've lifted the pickup ring off the top so that top can vibrate a little more. Shined it all up, did a deep clean on it. I took the bridge and scuffed up the bottom of the foot where it meets the top. This way it, it won't slip back and forth. I've also put my strings on it, my particular gauge of strings. These are Dear Dario Flatwounds, and uh, except uh, they're a light gauge or extra light gauge, but I replaced the 10 and the 13 or the 10 and the 14 with a 13 and a 15. So it's a high, high gauge, high end, skinnier bottom. Let me play you something on it. I just put the strings on it, so it might go a little bit out of tune as I'm playing, but bear with me. How about the song, uh, The Nearness of You? I'm gonna play it and play a little pick fingers and then I'll play some octaves so you can hear it all.
Okay, I'm going directly into the mixer. We're not letting uh, an amplifier color the guitar. Um, so there it is. A wonderful guitar, 16 inch lower bout. <clears throat> it's about two and a quarter inch deep, very comfortable to play. She's all set up, ready to go. A lot of guys wanna hear what the guitar sounds like acoustically. So I've turned down the volume. I've just have an overhead mic here. And there it is. So it's got a fair amount of sound considering how small the box is. So uh, it's enjoyable to sit around and play with. One thing about Eastman's, I really love the frets on these. Uh, they're a nice size, so uh, <laughs> I've been a little partial to, to the Eastman's on that. You know, this is a great little guitar for a little small band. Uh, you could do it with, uh, actually you play comping with a large band. Feedback issues I don't think are too much of a problem, especially if you have the right amp. If you're interested, uh, give me a jingle or shoot me an email at rich at guitarcollege.com. And uh, there you have it. Okay, I will see you later. Bye for now. <laughs>